Hello there, this is just a quick video, instructional video to demonstrate or show you how to convert a dual LED motion sensing security floodlight over to a photocell switched uh, LED floodlight. I've got a home with a back door, front door, I've got a shop and a garage with a man door and the big garage door I've got a pump house I've got a storage building I've got security lights all over the place we live in a rural area and uh, the motion sensing lights are fine to save electricity especially when we were using 250 watt bulbs in the fixtures that's that's a lot of juice to be pulling and those motion sensing lights were nice they're not on all the time but now with the advent of the LED lights I'm getting 2500 lumen output out of this unit here for 36 watts that's a big difference 300 watts down to 36 watts and I'm not changing bulbs all the time and Anyway, it's just a whole lot better for me to have them on when it starts getting dark all night long. So if I go out, it's already lit up. I don't have to wait until I walk into the pathway of the motion sensor for the thing to go on. Or if I look out the window and I want to see what's going on out there, you know, what the weather is doing, what, you know, if there's animals out there, whatever, the lights are on when it's dark. I don't have to wait for them to be triggered. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is to check and make sure that you've got a suitable LED light. LEDs like to run on direct current, so um, more and more now uh, they're mounting the rectifier, the bridge, on the die of the LED and it makes it suitable for this type of conversion. Uh, some other types, they mount, they locate the uh, rectifier you know they convert the AC to DC at a remote location like like you know down in the motion sensing board and uh, uh, sometimes they'll do it back in the back of the fixture here and when that's the case it gets a lot more complicated with this it's really nice because uh, the conversion from AC to DC is done right at the LED and you can tell, I've, I've got one of the lights here already partially disassembled. You can tell if that's the type of unit that you've got. Let me just open it up here, take the reflector off. And then they've got a little cover here. A little cover over the die. We'll pop that off real quick. And the second screw. Try to hold it up here so you can see this one you can see your common and your hotline in your neutral in and your L you've got your little chip up here with your positive and negative your little converter so they've got the electronics to convert the 120 volt which we've got 120 volt to this point here over to direct current to run the LED so that makes it real simple anyway I've got another unit here that's fresh out of the box and we'll show you real quick how to do it, it just takes a snap okay here's the unit fresh out of the box and if you've got your common line in, your line, your hot line in, and your green ground. First thing you want to do, we want to get rid of this. We want to get rid of the motion sensing module. So on the back side here, we've got a nut holding that rascal in. Pull that up. Now what I want to do is I want to snip 
white wire and the red wire coming out. Not the white wire in, but the white wire out of the motion sensor. So right here I want to I want to leave plenty of links so I'm going to snip it off close down here where it comes out of the motion sensor. So snip the common white and the red that's your out of the sensor to the load to the light from the sensor to the light the red. So we're going to snip that up here nice and close too. Okay. So that leaves you with the, your white in and your line in, your common and your line in. So we're just going to pull this unit right out of there and dispose of that. Get the nut there. Now, real quick, we're going to strip these guys off here. I'm going to strip the common. This is the common line that is leading in to the dual LEDs. It just comes down here. They've got a, a crimp cap here. So that white is going down and it's, it's going to the two whites coming from the two lights. And this red line, the hot line to the lights. That red hot comes down here to the other crimp cap and connects to the two black. So you got the black going to this light and the other black going to this light. That little jumper coming out is the red. That's, that's your line into the lights. So what I've got here is an indoor outdoor. This is a, a suitable for wet location. Uh, swivel mount light control. This is a photovoltaic switch and it's uh, rated 1800 watts, uh, 120 or 240 volt. So you could actually use this rascal to control a whole series of lights. If you say had a junction box where all your lights, your, your lines for all your lights came together, you could control, you know, lights all around your shop with, with one switch. In this application, I'm just, we're doing it for one individual light. So we'll take this rascal out of here. And just like the uh, motion sensor that I just removed, you got your black line in, your common line in, and your red hot load line out to your lights. And Sometimes the hole on these is, is eccentric or flat on one side, so you might have to do a little work on these. This uh, housing is plastic, so you can just take a razor knife if you need to flatten off one side or the other. So I'm just going to feed the wires up in here, bring it around in the position I want. There. Okay. And then I'm going to take this, reuse this nut, this plastic nut that came off the old motion sensing cell. Okay. Come on. There we go. Snug it down on there good. There we go. Just like that. Okay. So this is real simple. All we want to do is take the red, the red line coming out of the photo switch and mate that with the red load line going to the LEDs. And where's my wire nut? There we go. wire nut that guy
like that. Now, that piece of wire that I cut off earlier will make a perfect jumper here because we've got to hook the common to the common, but we need a wire to go to the junction box on the house. You know, we've got to have our line, our black line in, our hot line in, we've got to have our common in and our ground. So I'm going to use this, what would have been a discarded piece of wire here as a jumper. Bring those three lines all together, the common from the photo switch, the common coming from the LED lights, and the piece of jumper wire to use as my lead. And it's a little long there, I'm going to snip that off. Okay. like that okay believe it or not that's it of course you've got to go out and mount it on the house now but that that's all there is to it honest and I'm gonna show you here we've got our hot and our common extension cord here that I'm going to hook it up to. Hot. Or common. Okay. Make sure that's there. That's there. Everything's right. And we're going to give it some juice here. Voila. It's on. Now Let's test it. Have I got a flashlight around here? Of course I do. I've got a million of them. I'm gonna take there we go. We'll give it a little light here. Like the sun's coming up. Usually takes just a second. Sometimes a bit of delay. There it is, off. Lights are off. Sun's up. Sun goes down. Lights come on. How do you like that? Pretty slick, huh? Anyway, this unit that I'm working on here is from Costco. I got it on sale there for 34 bucks. And they're a really good unit. They're built really well. They're powder coated. There's gaskets uh, on on the lens here and, and around the back. They're, you know, even on the hardware here, which is stainless, there's little gaskets in there. So they're, they're good watertight units and uh, they appear to be well made. I've had real good luck with them. And uh, honestly, I've looked at facsimiles at Home Depot and Lowe's. They run 90 to 120 bucks for the same thing. So if you can get into Costco and pick up a few of these, do it. They're uh, uh, made for Costco. They're, they're not a, a GE or anything like that. They say home zone security on them. But uh, if you look on their back, they're actually manufactured for Costco to their specifications. And only 34 bucks for these little LED units. Pretty, pretty slick little units. And then $10, I got this at the local farm store, Wilco, the uh, photo cell, 10 bucks for that. So uh, 45 bucks, and you've got a really nice 36 watt LED dust to dawn floodlight set up that you can use around your house thank you for watching and by the way I am not a licensed electrician uh, do this at your own risk but it's pretty simple you guys and uh, it's really